The Titan Aram, or corpse flower, is a one-of-a-kind spectacle in nature. It's one of the largest in the world, takes many years to bloom, and dies in just one day. We tried to see this last year down in Long Beach with our daughter in college, and we missed it. Hundreds of excited people waited outside in the smoky air for up to an hour to get a glimpse. The long line stretched across the Roseville High School campus, out to the street and around the corner. I thought it was really cool. But there's one downside. It smells really stinky and it's really gross. I have kids, I've changed diapers, so I guess <laughs> it's not that bad. The insects that pollinate this flower are the same ones that eat dead flesh. That's why it smells this bad. It does the job. This is the accumulation of a nine-year project. Roseville High science teacher and greenhouse manager C.J. Addington has waited nearly a decade for this rare occurrence. They're very particular about their growing conditions, so they need very stable temperature and they need constant moisture and humidity. They need 12 hours of full light. One small slip up, like a security light shining on the plant back in 2017, prevented the bloom from opening. I was excited to come and I didn't care how long I'd have to wait. Jared Jackson is a science teacher at Samuel Jackman Middle School in South Sacramento. He's been waiting more than 20 years to see one of these in person. I've had a couple opportunities to see the plant non-blooming, which is not very exciting. He dragged the whole family along to see the six feet tall bloom, but he got some help. My wife framed it as an, a surprise. We're going to go see something. The kids finally getting up close for a good whiff. It smells so bad. Luckily, everyone showed up with a mask. In Roseville, Walter McCalla, KCRA 3 News.